Hi everybody, it's Andrea over at SewSpire.com and today I am here to show you how to sew this adorable table covering which is fitted on the corners here so it really is like a slip cover for a otherwise very boring black card table. So this design is unique because it has this circular medallion in the center that is actually stitched down and is a part of this design. I love the circle on top of the square because it gives you like a frame, right? Like you could see how these cake platters, um, most plates are round, so you could see how you could position the plates or even, can you imagine if you had the desserts here and the silverware and the napkins? This particular design is going to allow you a lot of creative freedom to sector off your serving table or your place setting. So I want to get started showing you how to make this table covering. For this project, you're going to need to cut out two 31 inch circles, which will look like this. You're going to need one 35.5 inch square and you're going to need four 9 inch by 35.5 inch rectangles. So we're going to begin by crafting that center circular medallion and the easiest way to cut out a circle is to take a 31 inch square of fabric and fold that into quarters. And then I have a contrasting fabric here to demonstrate how you would make these cuts. So here's the center of your circle. There's two folded edges here and then a single folded edge there where it's folded in half and pretend that this was your original square folded in fours then you would measure out with your ruler to the 15 and a half inch and then out to 15 and a half inches because 15 and a half times 2 is 31 so we're just getting that angle there and you could put pins or use a little marker and just put dots and then you're going to take and connect those dots to create that perfect circle which you're really just cutting off this corner here and then that should give you a very nice round circle and then you take that circle and use it as the template to cut your second circle so you take your two circles then to begin and you're going to want to use an inexpensive or a muslin cotton for the underside of this because you're not going to see it. But you position both circles right sides facing. And you want to take the time to line that up really nice and pin it securely all the way around because the seam allowance is critical if you are to maintain that circular shape. So more pins are better than less in this case, but at the very minimum, pin all of your center points and then go into the quarter points and pin those as well because you don't want anything shifting when you're sewing this. I'm going to be using for this entire project a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and the seam allowance is like I said very important for this so really go slow and keep your eye on that line so that you don't misshape your tablecloth. So now I have the two circles right sides facing and they are pinned together and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch all the way around that circle and completely enclose it 
with a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right. I've made it all the way around my circle. It's completely encased. I want to remove the pins. And then I want to turn that over to the back side or the underside, which would have been that inexpensive material. And I just want to, working from the center there, separate that from my nice material, which will be facing up. And I'm going to cut that. You don't need a very big cut, but it should be towards the center and three or four inches should be fine. Just be careful that you're not cutting the good side of your fabric. Then just reach inside of there and you're going to turn the circle right side out. You can go ahead and cruise along that seam there and kind of push the fabric out a little more. And then you're definitely gonna to have to iron this. So head on over to your iron and press that nice and flat. And after you do that, you can go ahead and set this circle aside for just a little bit while we craft the larger portion of the table covering. So for this, Next step in the project, you're going to take your 35 by 35 inch square. Okay, take your square and lay that flat and then you're going to take one of your rectangles and you're gonna position that right sides facing. You're just gonna line it up perfectly even with one of those edges. Put a few pins in that. And then you can turn this over to the opposite side and go ahead and line up the second panel in the same way. And then using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, stitch across the top edge of both sides of that tablecloth to secure those side panels. Okay, so we're going to stitch from end to end using a back stitch at each end.
have the four panels attached. And I want to go ahead and attach the remaining two panels in the same way, positioning those along that top edge, right sides facing. both of those panels pinned in place. Going to head back to the machine and stitch from end to end using the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and back stitching at both ends. Okay, I've attached all four side panels and now I have a very large square that looks like the corners have been notched out of it. And so what you need to do now is line up the base and the sides of each corner like that and then just stitch from the bottom to the top corner there all the way around and that's going to create your four corners. You'll want to use the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and back stitch at the beginning and the end. finished all four corners. If you were to turn this right side out, you could really see your tablecloth taking shape. Should have a nice boxy form. You can test fit at this point if you like. I'm confident that mine will fit well. I'm going to head on over to the iron and I'm going to press up a half of an inch and then I'm going to fold that over on itself one more time and press it to create a nice pressed hem all the way around that. After I press it, we're gonna come back to the machine and just tack down that hem real quick. Okay, I've traveled all the way around that edge with the iron and folded it over once and then over one more time to press down that hem. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that right down the center of that hemline, which is still going to work out to be about 3 eighths of an inch. 
but if your hem is a slightly different, just stitch right down the center of that. I'm going to go all the way around and I'll reinforce with a back stitch at the beginning and at the end. I've stitched all the way around that hem and it is in place. Now the only thing that we need to do is take the tablecloth as it is over to the card table and fit that on there. And then we can position that center medallion nice and get a good visual and make sure we're happy with that. We'll pin it in place when we're over there and then we'll come back to the machine and stitch down that center medallion and we will have a beautiful custom tablecloth like no other okay so here's my very boring basic yet functional card table prepare for its transformation This lighter floral print will be my front, and then that was the back, just some extra fabric that I had, which you're not going to see. So I have the tablecloth on there, and I want to center the circle medallion and align that. Best way to make sure that that's centered is just give a little check. Just a smidgen. Okay, now that looks really good. So now what I want to do is pin this circle in place. So I'm just going to reach under there and start pinning all the way around. It might be a good idea to pin, put at least one pin in each quadrant so it doesn't shift while you're pinning. Okay, I have this circle secured. Now I'm going to head back to the machine and just top stitch all the way around that. I'm going to give the tablecloth one more good press and then we'll be ready to put it on. Okay, I'm ready to start stitching that. I'm just going to feed the fabric onto the machine deck. You want to go slow. You want to make sure that you're not getting any other material scooped up under there. So just go slow, keep a feel on the machine deck here and make sure that everything stays nice and flat. Stop and adjust as needed, pull out pins, whatever you have to do to keep it nice and straight. together awesome it's stitched really um, flat and straight for me so I was happy about that I'm going to go ahead and remove the pins and head over to the iron quick and then I'll be back to show you how this all comes together and don't forget last week I made coordinating chair covers so I'll show you the entire set in just a few minutes our set is complete. I am so happy. 
this way exceeded my expectations and this fabric is so totally me. I'm actually going to use this on my covered porch and I will be hosting some tea parties for two. I envisioned some beautiful macaroons, some burns, some tea, some cucumber sandwiches. It's going to be amazing. So until we meet again, please know the creative genius in me salutes the creative genius in you. Have a beautiful day, everyone.